What is going on, everybody? It is Thursday, and that means it's time for another Thursday vlog. This is NASCAR Fan 97 here. We're getting ready for another week of racing at Daytona after a very much thrilling Daytona 500. I can't believe Michael McDowell was able to find a way through the wreckage and get his first career win. That was awesome. He's been a journeyman in NASCAR for such a long time, looking for his breakout moment. He had an Xfinity win in 2016, but he was looking for that breakout moment in Cup with his small front row motorsports team, the 34, and they got it by finding their way through that wreck in front at the moment of caution to win the 63rd running of the Daytona 500. That's that is awesome right there. Even for me as a Chase fan, Chase finished second in that race. I probably haven't felt any happier to finish second than I have that Sunday. So that's cool. Hopefully that team can be able to stay competitive this year and more importantly, stay in the top 30. So that way they can get themselves in a playoff spot as the rain here has gotten a lot harder. Um... Chase will be starting on the pole for the Daytona road course race this week. The second race of the new season. We'll see how he does. He's won the last four road course races, so it's kind of like playing on home turf for him. Um, and hopefully Daytona this coming weekend won't have to deal with as much rain as we're dealing with here around Darlington Raceway in my neck of the woods. Another rainy day, as you can see and probably hear. Is it ever not anymore? It's been raining for the last two, three months or so. Ground's gotten really saturated. So that's unfortunate. But uh, you got to make do with what you got. And uh, even if it's raining every single day, you got to find a way to stay hyped up. You can't get depressed. We don't want that. Because uh, <laughs> it was one year ago this day speaking of depressing things to this day 20 years ago that dale earnhardt got killed in that crash at daytona in 2001 respect tribute to the three also in uh, unfortunate things this is the one year anniversary of the uh 500 reaction that I had last year which I eventually ended up having to take a leave from YouTube from that, the apology video, all that stuff is still up on YouTube for historical reference but uh, it's a bit too awkward of a video to watch right now but uh, we're past that we have no more grudges we're into a new season fresh new start I'm, I'm excited, we're off to a great start Michael McDowell winning the Daytona 500 NASCAR journeyman finally getting his moment in the sun. That is awesome. Um, other sports news. The Senators beat the Maple Leafs on Monday because they choked a 5-1 lead. Toronto did. <laughs> That's big. Um, spring training just started up yesterday for baseball. The Blue Jays are going to be playing in Dunedin, Florida for the first two homestands of the year because remember... The border between the U.S. and Canada is still closed. So who knows how that's going to work out for the Jays. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for the uh, vlog this week. Just wanted to state a couple of things. One more thing, though. I'm kind of bummed out at how NASCAR decided to block my Daytona 500 reaction video. They kept my truck Xfinity, Bush Clash, Duels finish reactions up some of them were almost as long as my 500 video which was 16 minutes long but for some reason or another like they have in previous years nascar randomly selects a certain race to block from youtube not letting any fans upload their finish reaction recordings of that race i'm not sure why exactly they do that i'm not sure what their protocol is but it always gets on my last nerve I work my tail off to try to provide entertainment for you, the fans, and NASCAR won't let me put the content up on my channel because they randomly select a race in a random draw. No, no particular criteria whatsoever. They don't even release any criteria for it. They just select a race and they say, oh no, we can't have fans put that on YouTube. We need to block all those videos. 
So I don't understand why NASCAR Media Group decides to do that every other race. They've done that for the past couple of years now. I've dealt with it. But as a YouTube creator, it really gets on my last nerve because I do not make any money off of these videos. I do not monetize them. I give NASCAR credit for every single video I do, even my Thursday vlogs talking about NASCAR. Everything I can just to provide entertaining content for you, the NASCAR race fan. And this is the thanks I get from NASCAR. A bunch of removed videos for a bunch of some entertaining finished reaction videos, especially from a monumental one like the Daytona 500 where we have an upset winner. I mean, come on now, NASCAR. You're better than that. If you could at least send out some criteria on what you block races for, that would be great. I, I, I just want to know what exactly you guys do to select those races to block. What exactly do you look for in those videos that cause them to get blocked? If I can just be able to obtain that, I can be able to work on my videos even more so that way I can hopefully get all 36 races into my finished reaction playlist because I try to record every single race I can, truck, Xfinity, and cup. It just... It just irritates me that I do all that work and eventually goes for naught because NASCAR removes those videos. So, I don't know. Maybe the Daytona Road Course videos will stay up this week. Let's just hope for the best. Keep your fingers crossed. But uh, anyway, I need to get in before I get wet. I need to prepare for the Daytona Road Course race weekend. And I hope to see you guys, hopefully, with videos for all three series. Maybe NASCAR won't block them. But, uh... Until then, this is NASCAR Fan 97 saying so long, stay safe, do whatever you can to keep yourself alive, and just remember that together we will get through this, and together we are champions. And I will see you this weekend.